Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and in today's video I want to talk about reducing the weight and the bulk of your British Army Basher. It's a piece of kit that quite a few bushcrafters use, it's quite common in the bushcrafting world um, and it's a great piece of kit, it's a good durable, strong, hard wearing basher but it can be quite bulky and uh, I recently saw um, a modification somebody did where they re reduced the weight and the bulk of the basher by removing these webbing handles. These handles are part of the basher that allow you to use it as a stretcher in an emergency situation but to be honest it's not something we are going to use as bushcrafters or uh, campers or backpackers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these handles using a sharp knife just by cutting the stitch in uh, I think there's eight in total of these handles so I'm going to go ahead now and uh, start uh, cutting the stitch in to get rid of these handles you may have already seen this modification before but I just wanted to pass on the information to my subscribers who maybe they haven't seen this modification before and uh, if it's something they can uh, use or benefit from then uh, all good. The, uh, the weight of the basher including the stuff sack uh, is 900 grams so uh, let's see what the weight reduces to once we've uh, taken these webbing handles off. Right so what I'm going to do is if you get the handle and you open it out you can see there you can see the stitch, the two stitches there and there and then all you do is you get your sharp knife you just cut through this, that little stitch and then you open it up a bit more you cut the next stitch and so on until you've cut through all these stitches and eventually you'll be able to take that end of the webbing strap off and then you just go to the other end do the same there and do that for uh, each handle and then we'll see how much weight and bulk that gives us and how it reduces down. Okay, let's give that a go. Making sure not to catch the fabric of the basher really sharp knife is key for this you know that which one I'm doing now Tidy up those loose ends. You can see here none of this stitching is affected, it's just the cross stitch there. So we can tidy that up and uh, all will be good. Right, move on to the other end and then do the other seven straps. Right, I'm on to my uh, sixth strap now, and uh, as I've gone along, I've found better ways of getting through the stitching just to speed the process up a bit and I found the best way to do it is to put your finger underneath and sort of wrap the strap in around your finger and then hold on to this other side the bit that's on the basher use that finger to pull it back around your finger to open up the stitching and then go in with your knife and just slit the threads being very careful you don't want to be hacking away at this otherwise you're going to end up going through the basher or through your finger so you've got to be careful doing this and then as you slit them if you sort of rock it like that 
it opens them right up and you wrap it back round again, keep it taut, because as the cotton's taut, the sharp knife goes through the stitching quite easily. And then you, you rock again, and it just frees up the threads, you wrap around again, and you go in again. With the taut thread, they cut really easy. And then you just rock again and you just keep doing that and I found that's the the best motion to use. Some are easier than others I've also found. So uh, take your time, be careful and uh, away you go. And once you've cut through and you, you remove your strap, you're left with the stitch in there. This just comes away quite easily. Turn it over, pull it through, pull off the loose ends, like back over again, pull the loose ends through, and see it just leaves the little pinprick holes nice and neat and tidy. Right, eight straps and a lot of cotton cutting later, we're finally done. Uh, I'm not going to lie, that is a laborious job, but um, with that in mind, um, when you start getting into it, when you get to about your third and fourth strap, you start getting into the swing of things, um, and you start speeding up a little bit, but that's when you need to be careful, because when you start speeding up, that's when you start making mistakes. Um, I was getting into the rhythm, getting through them quite quick, and on occasion, I very nearly cut into my finger or uh, was cutting and I was almost nicking the fabric. Thankfully I didn't because uh, I just stopped myself, uh, checked what I was doing and then carried on. So be aware of that and also when you get to your last two or three uh, you're just wishing it was all over because you just want them done. It, it is a laborious job and again when you're getting towards the end that's when you also start speeding up a little bit because you just want it all finished. And again, that's when you start making mistakes and you don't want to get all the way to the end having not cut your finger or the fabric and then on the last two or last one even, you're just rushing to get it finished and that's when you make the mistakes. So take your time, remember your knife skills and uh, just be safe basically and it'll all be worth it in the end. Right, well that's them all done. Let's see how that uh, affects the weight and the, uh, the bulk. <laughs> Oh dear, we spoke too soon. I've just uh, got the basher together to fold it up and see how it, how less bulky it is. And I found three more on the ridge line. So the eight um, around the perimeter. And then there's one on the end. One in the middle. Oh hang on, there might be more than that. Two in the middle, three, that's four, that's three. That's just a, a loop. Four. Got four more to do. Oh no. So there's 12, not eight. Right. Bring you back later. Okay. 12 straps and a lot of cotton cutting later. I'm finally done. Now, the straps that are on underneath the ridge line, because this is sealed on the top. Um, I don't know whether all bashes are like this, I believe they are. They've got like a rubberized sealant on the top of the stitching of the ridge line. The straps that are sewn underneath, I've left the cotton sort of frays as they are. Because they're all secured in the rubberized sealant there. I don't want to start pulling all them out. So I've just left them as they are. Okay. Right, now let's see how that makes a difference to the weight and the bulk. Okay, there we go. Approximately 108 grams. It keeps flicking around a bit. But we'll say about 108 grams in strapping removed. Let's see how that affects the weight of the basher. One of the things you do notice is the reduction in bulk. Because there's no straps there now, that can be folded really flat 
and once that's rolled up, I'm sure that's going to be take up less room. Well, it is. It's going to take up less room in the stuff sack. Excellent. Again, you can see straight away. Look how much easier that rolls up now. That's taking up far less room. That's brilliant. And there's the new weight. It's all over the place. But if we called it 795. I think it was 900 before, wasn't it? So, that's 105 grams. Well, let's call it 100 grams. Let's round it up to 800. You've saved 100 grams there in weight. And it's far less bulky. So, uh, I think that's uh, a successful exercise. Just packing the basher away there. I, I'll be honest, I, did, I found it much easier to pack away. Much easier to roll up. Um, it's definitely reduced the bulk, well it's bound to because, you know, there's a lot of a lot of material there uh, and about 100 grams in weight. So I think that's a very successful ex exercise. So uh, give that a go, take your time, remember your knife safety and uh, let me know how you get on, see what you think. I hope you enjoyed that, if you did please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.